you who grant us love. Here's Slow you. now, whoa. You who Greetings. Can I have a word? I am here to serve pilgrims who have come to venerate the goddess. Mine's more an earthly matter. What is it? Word is you've got a problem. Morkvarg. That's its name. Could tend to it for you. Do so, and you will greatly please the goddess. That's nice and all, but coins what pleases me. You look the type. Fret not, I shall pay. But only if you rid us of Morkvarg, once and for all. There have been those who have killed Morkvarg, but a curse has brought him back each time. Notice I read didn't mention a curse. All who live here know of it. Could be, but I'm not from around here. Could use some information. Archpriestess Ulva cast the curse. It bound Morkvarg to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what. Who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He held nothing sacred, raided the lands of his own clan, took gold from Nilfgaard, murdered women heavy with child, and children he... Mm -hmm. I know the type. They said he feared but one thing. Albeit secretly, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg decided to prove everyone, himself included, wrong. So he came to Hindisvya to raid the goddess's garden. This was years ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his path. He stabbed her in the breast and cast her into the mud. As her blood gushed forth, she cursed Morkvarg, and he transformed into a monster. Could you be more specific? Monster can mean a lot of things these days. Folk have been known to call me that. I'm afraid I cannot tell you more, for I've never seen him myself. But... Hmm? You might speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He saw Morgvarg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim to escape with his life that day. Settled in Larvik, you'll find him at the landing there, provided he's not at sea. Farewell. The goddess protect you from all evil. You who grant us love, hatred, and clouds strength. obscure the sky and turmoil grips the sea. Defend us, great mother. Come on, Roach. You who grant us love, hatred, and clouds obscure the sky. Drink last night too. You're a you, Dimwit. Drop one more and I'll keel haul you. Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nelf Guardian dogs were to hunt us some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. All right, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Muller was looking out for me that day. Mm hmm But she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Morkvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Ulver cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. 
didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. Are you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. Friends, we show heart. Foes, we show our axe. Remember that. Last night was... Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Come on. Again, not again. of it. Deep wound must have been. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Frog doesn't devour his victims. Strange.
lots of prints, old and new. His lair must be nearby. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. It's open, but nothing's happening. fell through the crevice years ago. Air is moving here. Must be another cave above or way out. through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. Symbol of Freya. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Mark Frog doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Story. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Locked me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite brought pain and howling. I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. <gasps> This was more. My mouth burned. Like 
following fire. For all inside me was torn. Felt I would die. But I, I did it. And then... I shredded them, dashed them to bits, made tiny crumbs of those plowing heroes. Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. The moral is... You cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. Break any fetters. Curse. Free me, or I'll return to get you again. Is the curse uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle uh, till I drop? Uh, uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me, and and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. <laughs> Raided, drunk most away, all but one. Uh, true treasure, uh, hid away, yours, uh, just help me! Uh, uh. Tiresome conversation, not interested. What would you do? Uh, what a witcher ought to. doesn't devour his victims. Strange. One of Freya's priestesses. No signs of violence. Must have died of hunger a while ago. A key could come in handy. Waited a long time for death to come.
Slow now. Whoa. Last night was Hey there, friend. What's the rush? Greetings. Praise prayer. Liar. What? I swear it on the great mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvog's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. Can't wait. You're daft. You're alone. What's your plan, eh? Let me show you. Lost your nerve? Where's the key? All I have in the chapter house. The crate. But the key. Where's the key? Ah. Why so silent, Robert? You thief. You rogue. You horse son. You worthless bastard. I will find the key without you, <laughs> idiot, stupid prick! joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash I cannot eat. I cannot drink. Yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh, but the smallest morsel burns my throat, throat, like. Boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. 
Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help! Or I'll return to shred ye, rip ye limb from limb! See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. Have a bite of this. Want to lift the curse? Better be true, or I'll rip you, shred you. Ah! What? What did you do? That was your own flesh. Far as I know, curse doesn't allow for that. Ah! Or son, you tricked me, deceiver. Ah! Hardly. Wanted me to lift the curse? Well, you're welcome. Ideal friend. Patient, doesn't mouth off. It's open, but nothing's happening. The floodgates open, but nothing's happening. Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that... Morkvarg's gone, for good. Guaranteed, or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Freya, hear my prayer. Freya, grant my plea. 